Atom and Visual Studio Code are two of the most frequently used text editors for programming. Let's cover which one of them is better. First of all, Atom and Visual Studio Code have quite a few things in common. They're both available for free, they're both open source, and they're both implemented in Electron, which is the framework that allows desktop apps to be developed with web technologies such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's first have a quick overview of Atom. Atom was originally developed by GitHub, and therefore it includes a GitHub and Git integration right out of the box. The editor is really good for beginners, and there are a lot of plugins available to extend Atom's functionalities. And the plugins can be customized to a very high degree. Atom is fully open source, whereas Visual Studio Code has proprietary parts, and it also includes advanced features, for example, context-aware auto-completion, code navigation features, and document formatting. Visual Studio Code on the other side was developed by Microsoft and it's a very capable code editor which has a lot of functionalities which makes it almost as powerful as an IDE. There are a lot of plugins available with Visual Studio Code with a dedicated plugin store, but it cannot be customized to the extent of Atom since it's partially proprietary. Visual Studio Code is also based on the Electron framework just like Atom, but it has better performance than Atom since it comes with a lot of integrated features which do not have to be added through separate plugins. Visual Studio Code also provides access to advanced features, for example, a Git integration, markdown support, and autocomplete. Let's have a closer look at Atom and look at its advantages and disadvantages. First of all, Atom is great for beginners, but it also scales to higher skill levels. So when you work with it, it feels quite familiar and is easy to get started with. It has a clear user interface and familiar keyboard shortcuts. You also have a lot of great choices for extensions, so you have a wide variety of plugins to choose from, and those cover, for example, syntax highlighting for different programming languages, options to integrate runtime environments, debuggers, and a lot more. Atom also provides a lot of flexibility and customizability. Atom is often described as a hackable text editor that can be customized if needed, and there's a massive library of tweaks and customization options available to adjust Atom exactly to your needs. Along with that, it's also very easy to use themes with Atom, and you can even create your own Atom themes, if you're proficient in CSS. Atom supports many different programming languages. Basically, all popular programming languages are supported, and custom packages are available for less conventional programming languages. Since Atom was developed by GitHub, it has a very good GitHub integration and also great Git support. But there are, of course, also some disadvantages when working with Atom. Specifically, it has slower performance, which is mostly caused when you're using a lot of different plugins. Because the plugin-based approach that Atom follows leads to slower performance when compared to Visual Studio Code. Atom also requires more configuration to take full advantage of the plugins available. If you compare that to Visual Studio Code, VS Code comes pre-configured with what you would typically need to get started. And certainly most importantly, Atom is discontinued since the end of 2022. And while it can still be used, it won't be updated anymore, including security updates. And therefore, it is not recommended to use Atom anymore. If you compare that to Visual Studio Code, first of all, Visual Studio Code is very simple and intuitive to use, and it comes with a lot of advanced features out of the box. Even though Visual Studio Code is also based on the Electron framework, it has a significantly better performance when compared to either Electron apps, such as Atom. VS Code is also optimized for faster startup, since it comes with more inbuilt features than Atom. So Atom, in contrast, relies on extensions, which can take longer to load. And so right out of the gate, Visual Studio Code includes more features than Atom. For instance, a built-in debugger, built-in Git integration, and also a variety of tools for smart code completion. VS Code supports all frequently used programming languages, and there's also a huge extension marketplace, which includes thousands of extensions. So that covers, for instance, UI themes, debuggers, support for additional languages, and much more. There are, of course, some disadvantages for using Visual Studio Code. First of all, it has relatively high performance requirements. So if you're working on an older device, an older laptop, for instance, that might be an issue. Compared to Atom, there's also less customizability for plugins available. And while VS Code includes a Git integration, the integration with GitHub is not on the same level as that of Atom. But since Microsoft, the developers of Visual Studio Code, acquired GitHub a while ago, it's quite likely that there will be better and better GitHub integrations going forward. So in conclusion, both text editors are great options. Very open source conscious users might prefer Atom due to more independence from Microsoft. 
even though that's not really the case anymore due to Microsoft acquiring GitHub. But overall, Visual Studio Code has better performance and greater out-of-the-box support. Since Atom is sunset since the end of 2022, Visual Studio Code is a better choice for most users and therefore I would recommend it.